today we are talking about Lancaster Leaf Tobacco. Uh, Lancaster Leaf is a subsidiary of Universal Corporation, the leading global leaf tobacco supplier. And I'm really excited today to have on with me the VP and CFO of Lancaster Leaf, Raul Perez. You know, we are a global subsidiary of uh, Universal Corp. We manage our operations throughout uh, various continents and we have basically five large uh, locations. The site was meeting the deadlines of reporting, but when you look deep, there was a lack of accuracy when you try to review the account balances, the completeness of the work, a lot of accounts were not reconciled, a lot of steps were missed. And you know, nevertheless, they still submitted a month end uh, close. There was no real accountability as to what needed to be done in terms of number of accounts that needed to be reviewed uh, on a monthly or quarterly basis. There was no identification or true identification of variance. They were unable to, to attest on a monthly basis that they don't own the work, that individual persons had the responsibility to complete accounts and on a timely matter, and that there was no sign off or, super, or review at the end of the reconciliation process. The documentation was lacking in terms of real support and analysis of the account. And then lastly, there was really no documentation after the fact. So we could not go back, may say a quarter ago, and, and try to understand what work was done, what analysis, what discrepancies were found. I have been lucky enough to come across a sky stem some time ago. And so I know the potential and benefit of, of the system. And when I started in Lancaster, I had a, you know, I had in mind, you know, this is something that I wanted to do. But there were there were some events that trigger the, the the need immediately to really implement art quickly. And this is, you know, the painful one, you know, which is the discovery of a mayor under accrual that affected. It was big enough that affected a corporate books on a, uh, accruals that should have been recorded. Uh, they were they were purposely not recorded to the to the full extent and I divided in multiple accounts so none of the accounts could actually trigger uh, an audit by itself. This created an immediate response from corporate with the system. Now I can I can tell what work has been done, what uh, progress of the work has been done and, then, and at the end of the of the close I have a certainty that the work has been completed, has been reviewed and has been documented. So that is the biggest, the, you know, uh, deliverable that the system has. Now, on top of that, you know, the what I call the, the soft benefit is the, is the fact that you are in top of the numbers, and that if the process is done well and consistently, you're not going to have surprises. In, in the evaluation, I mean, the the three major areas that you know that allow us to, to move forward with, with SkyTem was, you know, one was how long did, the, did, the, did we feel that the system would have taken to be implemented. Uh, the complexity of the system, you know, is the, are we something, do we fail, do we feel that we can manage this software mostly our own or, or this is so convoluted system that we cannot manage this ourselves. Uh, this yeah. is something that, you know, our, you know, accounting teams uh, can implement very, very easily. But our IT department did not get involved besides the evaluation of the uh, cloud-based uh, agreement. And third was really the pricing. This is a very affordable system that meets the needs of, uh, I would say, most of the folks. If, now, if there are there are certain certain entities that will require certain uh, size or complication, that's fine. But for the most part, this is the right tool for most of the people out there that are, are, are here with us today. We encourage the team, one, to be open to, to the new tool and, and, and help them comparison to comparison how the new system is going to improve their work work process. And the, the, the one that the part that you said at the beginning, the, uh, the, the template format, was something big for the group because you know they're just accustomed to one one standard format, uh, trying to follow the same the same template, and they were uh, you know they, they were excited to see the different ways that we can populate and support uh, each of those formats. The training, 
I, you know, I remember we just did this in one afternoon formally uh, with the entire group, and then we follow it with a one-to-one. -one. The system is kind of uh, intuitive. Once you once you walk through one, I mean, everything else, you know, seems to follow the same the same formatting and the same same approach. The one thing that I always have to say, the difficulty in here is to convince the people to transition some of the work, you know, the, the files into the system. The, the intention is not for you to do the rec on Excel and then try to import the rec into the system because that de de defies, you know, defy the purpose of this. So our, 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 our biggest benefit was that by standardizing the process, once, you know, we put every account into the same format, it was much easier to evaluate. And we began identifying those balances that have no support into, into art and being able to work with those discrepancies as time went on. You know, as we, we kept identifying those unsupported balances in the balance sheet at different locations, uh, we were able to, you know, manage them on a monthly basis manage the resolution and manage the financial impact that we ended up having having there. You have to make a conscious decision of what is it that you need, why you need it, and make the case to the upper management, the two people offer you first. And you know, how you're gonna about how you're gonna move forward after you make the decision. And then with the same strength, you need to convince those who are under you who are going to be the users. I mean, so you have to tell them and explain to them very clearly why do we need this, why it's important, how it's going to help and how it's going to help them in the company. And then it's really the follow through. I mean, a lot of people just delegate you know, here, do this and tell me when it's done. Now you have to be involved and under every, every step all the way and go, you know, follow through.